Halloween is in the air. Hey guys, welcome back to Morris Manor, and today we're going to be checking out Meyer's Halloween selection for 2019. I know not uh, a lot of places actually have Meyer, but I do, so I thought that might be interesting to see some of what they have. You guys can check it out as well for the people that don't have it. I'm sorry about a lot of the store tours recently, but uh, I just kind of realized recently I haven't done very many of them, so. I wanted to get those all done this year, so without further ado, Myers Halloween stuff for 2019. skeleton pieces, a skeleton spider, a skull, this cool kind of crystal ball thing, it's actually pretty nice, uh, glitter skulls, which are actually fairly heavy, uh, some sort of potions, and a dragon skeleton, that's pretty cool, this uh, kind of reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast almost, with uh, another skull, some candelabras, a uh, velvet sort of pumpkin thing, in red and blue, and a Felt or velvet black skull. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, some frames. Another one with a raven on it. This uh, wreath. That's pretty nice. And then this cool little facade we have up here. So, nice little uh, corner end section as you guys can see. Let's take a look into the actual aisle. Now, uh, if you guys can't tell, this is all just costumes mostly, so I'm not going to focus on that very much. Uh, some baking supplies, it appears. Costume hat pieces, maybe. Some fake blood. Yeah. Well, Gen well, thing. what do we have here? That's pretty cool. Got some climbing clowns. Some of these grooving, ghouly looking things. Got the floss and go. Yeah. I think you get it. it it's a, I, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Is, okay, you get it. You get it. We, we can stop that now. Yeah, you, you get it. Uh, some hand pieces. A lot more of those just dancing around things. Grave ravers. You get it. I can uh, turn this on. Oh, yeah, here we go. seen that before, it's still really cool though. So. Yeah. Haunted radio. Pretty cool. Uh, we got this crawling hand here. Let's see how that how well that works. Oh, is that not uh not working? might not be working yeah still cool looking though said that doesn't work but it's still really cool looking so that's the end of this little aisle piece I guess like I said mostly just costumes over here kind of facade piece up here got a lot of masks and weapons and whatnot some of them better than others all the cosmetics over here as always, over here we have a nice little display of some pumpkins, as always, just another corner piece. So uh, you can go down this next aisle now. Got a lot of uh, skeleton pieces and decor over here. Pretty cool. Some uh, little hanging skeletons, some bigger hanging skeletons. Some, some of the skeletons are even lined up, I believe. Yeah. 
Uh, just got a few more lined up here. A, uh, fish, which I believe looks like it lights up. Yes, it does. Let's see if it's working. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Uh, dragon skeleton, T Rex skeleton. Pretty epic. Um, Fogger. It's a uh, little skeleton yard stakes. I wonder if I can find like a picture of what they're supposed to look like. Just, yeah, that's what they look like on the way. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, cauldron Mister right here. Some like little light up spooky pumpkins, strobes. All that stuff. Just some lighting mostly. A lot of lighting. Is that not working? Oh, no, that is working. That's cool. Some like little, it looks like a skeleton hourglass, which uh, appears to be an actual hourglass, so. That's pretty cool. Projection, shadow light. So mostly as you guys can see, oh yeah, some like little neon ghosts and a cat. So as you guys can see, mostly this area is lighting, but pretty cool nonetheless. Some cute little pumpkin neck light pieces, I might actually consider getting those. These are pretty cute little uh, headband pieces. Some more of those crystal balls. Roses with eyeballs in them. Ornaments. Black tree. Oh, is that a dropping spider? Yeah. Dropping spider right there. All pretty cool. Another uh, end piece. So we can head into this aisle. <coughs> Some more little uh, cutesy types of decorations. Oh, we have another one of these. I wonder if this one's going to work better. Let's find out. Oh yeah, it's working, but it's, uh, it's kind of slow. Oh well, still cool. This be a Thanksgiving piece, but still. Some more little cutesy pieces, some sparkly pumpkin stacks. Some more up here, more orange pumpkins, and just mostly like little house decor. Me and Alexia, which you know. Uh, yeah, so we got some things over here. Some shiny beetles and spiders. Pretty weird, but I like it. I like the black ones. Uh, some candles. Do these slide up? Probably. Yes, they do. That's pretty cool, actually. Sparkly little pumpkins over there. Some more wreaths and garland. Trick or treat buckets. And some party supplies, it appears, like table covers, little centerpieces, bowls, cups. Uh, some smaller animal skeletons, like a frog, um, a midget, a little person, whatever, <laughs> a snake, and a lizard, and a spider. So that's pretty cool. As well as this little end piece over here, which just houses some uh, little glow pieces, like glow sticks, pens, gloves, little lights, flashlights. That's interesting, I've never seen anything like that before. Well, I, I have, but I, uh, I haven't seen pumpkin versions of them, so that's interesting. And then the final actual aisle <coughs> that we're gonna go through has some nice, what appears to be metal signs. Yeah, those are actually metal. Where the dog, Reacher zombie facility. Remember when Spirit has stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. Some little, little chains, doormats, <coughs> window clings, hidden screamer. Oh. Which is there we go. That one's kind of tricky to press, actually. Uh, some spiders, a glossy skeleton unicorn, which head is turned around. Hold on, so we can fix that. There we go. Glossy skeleton unicorn. Little cups. Uh, some creepy cloth. Bowls, jemmy bowl, which uh, not sure if that's working or not, but still really cool. And then the rest appears to be costumes. So let's see if I can go show you guys. This is my centerpiece this year. They don't have a ton up, but uh, 
some like hay bales, some lighted pieces of fogger, inflatables, cool tombstones like this, a big, really big skull, which is actually really heavy. That's not cheap material. That thing is probably like a hundred dollars. A uh, little trick or treater ghost looking things, a big pumpkin, big signs that say Halloween. It's pretty cool for the front part. Um, little Halloween gingerbread houses. Never seen that before, but I like it. Harvesty looking stuff. <clears throat> Another stack of pumpkins, some witch legs, lighted eyes for your doors, some uh, big skull spider bowls things. Another big pumpkin. If you guys don't know, I have really big hands, so like you can see how big these pumpkins are. Uh, frog on top of them for some reason. Some candles, cauldrons, pitchforks, axe, a scythe. Pretty cool stuff. Got just some more costumes over here. And that's their main centerpiece for the year. So, And then just the one more little section, which is some of the more uh, darkly toned stuff. Like the pillow with the raven on it. Some of this sort of decor. Got a lot of just darkly toned stuff. Like, oh, like a lot of skulls and black pumpkins. Uh, <coughs> some skeletons, bats, spiders, ravens. You name it. It's all pretty much right here. And that's mostly Myers Halloween selection for this year. Now I'm not gonna lie, that's not exactly everything, because I did leave out. Uh, oh yeah, like for example, there's some some more skeleton pieces right there. And I left out some of these centerpieces. It's like you know, mostly harvest and fall stuff, as you guys can see. But it's still there nonetheless. So uh, if you have a Myers near you, I suggest you go check it out. But they are not around everyone, so. That's why I thought I might make this video today. Regardless, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned to Morse Manor because lots more spooky content coming this October. I have just a few more store tours to get done, and then uh, I will start on some other sort of content. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. And this is how the message ran. Thank you.